can't even remember the last time I watched a movie where I was so undecided if I liked it or not. And yeah, this is it. Red Dot. Right, so Red Dot is a brand new Swedish movie on Netflix. It is one hour and 26 minutes long and it is rated R. And the basic story for the movie, I actually think it's really, really cool, man. It's a great idea. A young married couple, they want to take a camping trip, yo. So they go to the snowy mountains to just relax. And then they get tracked and hunted by a sniper. You know, your standard camping experience. But genuinely, just that premise alone, I really enjoyed it. I actually didn't do a reaction to this. I totally missed the trailer. I did watch the trailer before I put the camera back on. The trailer does make it out to seem like if you've seen the movie Phone Booth with Colin Farrell, you know how that movie's like. I went into this movie kind of thinking it'd be like that. It is definitely not like that. So if you're thinking it's like some claustrophobic movie where two people are like stuck in a tent, that's what it kind of makes it feel like in the trailer in a way. It definitely ain't that. However, they are definitely stuck in the snow mountains and I will talk about all that stuff in a minute. First of all, the acting, for me, the acting was solid. It wasn't like a masterpiece. It definitely didn't suck. I think the actors and actresses did the best with what they had in terms of like dialogue and stuff. This is obviously a Swedish movie. I did watch it with English subtitles, but about halfway, I paused it and just checked out like the voiceover, the dubbing, and yeah, it's not the best dubbing I've ever seen, to be totally fair. So if you can watch it in Swedish with subtitles, that's probably your best bet. Watch it that way. For me anyway, it was definitely a better experience watching it that way. Now I said in the intro, I have crazy mixed feelings about this movie, man. I'm gonna say some positives first and then some negatives. Obviously there's gonna be no spoilers, so do not worry. And yeah, this is a weird movie, man. First of all, my biggest positive that pretty much lasted throughout the entire movie is you can see like, they are in the snowy mountains. You can see it's real. You can see it's genuinely snowing. You can see the woods. Everything is genuine, so it just that, like, authenticity, yo. It felt really good for the movie, and i got to be fair, a lot of the camera work was really, really good. Some of the scenes, just the cinematography alone, some of them is really, really good. But I have some major issues with this movie, man. First of all, it's, again, from the trailer, being marketed as something, it definitely ain't that, mate. I did not think it would be like this by the end from the trailer, so just... Keep that in mind if you're watching this movie. My second big negative, I'm not a survival expert, yo, but I've seen enough like, documentaries or whatever to know some of these things. Nah, mate. They are definitely dead. Just don't even go there, mate. With that freezing temperature, nah, mate. Just That took me out of it so much. And I was genuinely like, invested in the first like 30 minutes, but when all the stuff goes crazy, I was like, you've died like 10 times. Just don't even, mate. Just... Nah, man, it took me out of it so much, I really did like it. But the third biggest negative by far, yo, for me, it is so predictable. Genuinely, right? After 30 minutes, I was like, that's gonna happen, that's gonna happen, that's gonna happen. And guess what? It all happened, man. It is a very, very predictable movie to a point. I'm not gonna spoil nothing. But a large chunk of this movie, like well over half, probably like three quarters, to be totally fair, is so predictable, so easy to see. I can imagine, like, if you haven't watched a lot of movies, you might be, like, kind of caught out. But for me, who watches movies and shows on the regular, yo, I was like, this is predictable, man. It just took me out of it so much. But this is where I'm conflicted, right? There's a twist in this movie. I'm not going to say where it is or what happens in the twist. Do not worry. Genuinely spoiler free. I kind of liked it a lot. I'm not going to lie. It transformed the movie and I really got into it. But then... It kind of flopped at the same time. So yeah, you just have to take my word for it. If you've seen it, you know. It just By the end, I was kind of like... I don't want to say it was a pointless movie. It, it definitely wasn't pointless. But there was multiple points where I was like, this is so boring. Genuinely zeds, yo. And then I was like, I'm kind of enjoying it. And then I wasn't. And then I kind of was again. It is genuinely a weird mix. I haven't seen a movie that's made me feel like this in a long time. Like, I don't know. I think still the negatives outweigh the twists and some of the few positives. So... Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't a bad movie. I'm going to throw that out there right now. It definitely was not a bad movie. It is not. Listen to me, yo. It is not for everyone. You could be pissed after watching this movie. I'm not even joking. If you're easily triggered, probably best you skip it. If you like something new or you want to just be entertained, mindless action, and then you get a nice little bit of twisty stuff, you might like it even more than me. For me, though, again, it wasn't bad. It definitely, for me, I don't classify it as a good or great movie. It was like dead average, man. And for that reason, I'm going to give Red Dot five nerds out of ten. I can genuinely see people 
properly disagreeing with my review and that is totally cool man and i can see people thinking this is the dumbest movie ever and I, again some people will be like oh it's a masterpiece it definitely for me is not a masterpiece it's definitely average i'm not gonna like go out my way to watch it again it wasn't bad it wasn't great it's dead average and that is why i gave it five ladies and gentlemen have you seen red dot are you gonna see it please let us all know down below as always thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you all in the next one and uh Watch out for them snipers, bro.